Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful So today's video is another weekly vlog. I actually have right here my Sephora sale haul to share with you guys and I have the blinds open wide in our room because it is so sunny today and I'm loving it but I think it's supposed to rain for the rest of the week. By the way, it's Wednesday. It's like lunchtime. I'm just filming a TikTok and drinking some kombucha. I put this in a um, glass with some Sprite Zero. So just been sipping on that. Let me share with you guys my Sephora order because I did so good and I'm really excited about everything here. So this actually works out perfectly because I just like positioned everything for the TikTok video, but I restocked on a few of my favorites. So the first one is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA BHA Pore Tight Toner. Absolutely in love with this. I'm actually out, so I need to replace uh, this on my skincare shelf. And then the Living Proof Scalp Care Dry Scalp Treatment. I pick this up every year at the sale. I use this every single time I wash my hair. Absolutely love it. I am gonna be trying the Rare Beauty um, Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 26W because I need a self tan slash summer shade for my tinted moisturizer. I'm gonna show you guys what I use right now. And this is my everyday makeup drawer. I use the Fenty Beauty, uh, what are these? easy drops in shade eight this is like the perfect shade for me right now it's actually almost a little dark um but this is the shade i actually used this today and this is my perfect shade i forgot that i had this the CoverGirl clean fresh skin milk in light this is actually my shade that i'm currently but i definitely plan on um either self tanning or tanning out by the pool soon so i'm definitely going to get darker so this is my current shade this is my shade like a month from now and then i think the rare beauty one will be my like darkest shade so that's the goal <laughs> but anyways i really wanted to try this formula so i might mix it if it's uh too dark for me now but i definitely need to try it because it doesn't look very dark but and then i got this uh daily luna which i've never heard of this brand before but i was looking for an oil for um shaving and for um putting on after you shave actually in your delicate areas because I've been getting ingrown hairs and irritated skin. So I got this little travel size mini, the everything oil, and this came up when I searched for that kind of oil on Sephora. So excited to try it out. It wasn't expensive. I want to say it was like 15 maybe or 10. I don't know. And then I picked up a mini of the L'Occitan shower oil. I tried to pick this up in a full size during the Ulta Beauty 21 days of beauty sale and it was sold out or actually I purchased it and they had to refund me because it was out of stock. So I got this in the smallest size that they offer because that was the only thing available on Sephora.com. So picked this up. I also picked up a um, sample set from Replica of all their scents or all, I think this is every single one of their scents. Yeah. So it has Jazz Club, Lazy Sunday Morning, By the Fireplace, Under the Lemon Trees, Bubble Bath, Autumn Vibes, Coffee Break, Sailing Day, Beach Walk, and Springtime in the Park. So excited to try all of these. Picked up a Fenty Beauty liquid eyeliner. This is actually in a brown color. It is Big Truffle. It's a little more like purpley than it is brown though. I've tried it, um, but I'll have to try it on my eyes. I only swatched it on my hand. I'll try it on my eyes tomorrow and see how I like it. I picked up this Skylar Vanilla Sky Perfume Rollerball, which you guys, I am so excited about this. Just really excited to try this one. I did sniff it, it smells really good. The notes are cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. So it's supposed to be like a warm scent. Here's the stuff on the back here. And then for free, I got a little um, set with my Sephora points. This is the Charlotte Tilbury award-winning beauty icon set. Came with a mini magic cream, a little baby magic serum, and the tiniest little lipstick you have ever seen. Look how tiny it is compared to my fingers so tiny and this is pillow talk medium which i'm actually really excited to try because this would be my shade if i were to get pillow talk so yeah i will probably do like a more in-depth actual haul on youtube soon um where i sniff uh some of those scents that i got and try them out for the first time but that's the haul for now yeah i don't have 
a lot to update you guys on. This week's been pretty slow, um, but I am going this weekend to see my friend in Dallas, JC, and she is going to try on wedding dresses. So I'm very excited to go and support her and be there for her and help her pick it out. So uh, just exciting stuff. So anyways, that's this weekend, that's Saturday. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go because I need to go back to work now that it's uh, after lunch. But I will talk to you guys later. Well, that was some leg day. I just made myself a little green smoothie, some spinach, some strawberries, half a banana, and protein powder. I am going to edit tomorrow's video and then have some dinner. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bite it. <laughs> oh my god. You're so cute. Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning. This is the first time I've talked this morning so my voice is a little bad but it's about 8 uh, 15. I'm about to go put a face on and then I'm driving to Dallas so a three and a half hour trip to go see my friend to try on wedding dresses for her so very exciting day today. So I'm gonna drink my coffee and do my makeup, get ready to leave and I'll see you guys on our trip. All right, you guys, I am done getting ready. I'm loving my new Fenty brown eyeliner that I just got at this for sale. If you haven't seen my haul, go check it out, but I'm loving it. So I'm ready. I'm gonna change when I get there because her appointment's not till two. I'm probably gonna get there around one. So I'm gonna change and stuff, but this is the final look <laughs> before we head on the road. And I think I'm gonna stop for breakfast somewhere. So yeah, let's get on the road.
guys, it is currently Sunday. It is 5.30 and I'm back home from Dallas. So yesterday we did go dress shopping for my friend and she found her wedding dress and she said yes to the dress. So that was really exciting and um, just really happy to be able to share that moment with her. And then afterwards we did a little bit of shopping. We roped her boyfriend into going to Marshall's with us and then went to Chewy's for dinner. So we had some Mexican food and kind of just like chatted the night away last night. And then this morning she actually let me use her Peloton bike today. Um, that was my first time doing a Peloton bike. I've done like one Soul Cycle class before. So it was a fun experience. My butt definitely hurts, but besides that, it was pretty good. Um, and then we both did yoga together and grabbed some breakfast and then I headed out. So I wanna share with you my haul. I did also go to Ulta on the way home because I needed some things. Um, so yeah, let's get into the haul. So one of the biggest things that I went for was to stock up on some new skinny syrups, but I actually got a Tarani syrup this time. So I'm gonna try theirs out. I've heard that the Tarani ones are not as potent as skinny syrup, so I might need to use more um, quantity when I use them, but this is a sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon and I love that flavor and I love to do shake and espresso, so I thought this would be really good. Um, and it's sugar-free and this was $6.99. And then I picked up a mocha skinny syrup, which I used to not like chocolate flavored coffee, but recently I've been really liking it. I got a Twix flavored uh, creamer and I've been loving it. So I got a mocha flavored skinny syrup to try and this was $3.99. So this is only $4 and this one is seven. So there is a little price difference. This is also in a glass jar. So excited to try those. And then I also picked up a new blender bottle. This was $5.99, but with summer coming up, I'm gonna be doing a lot more iced coffees and I like to use shaker bottles to um, to um, make my shaken espressos. So I will be using this to do that one. So that way I don't have to take away from like Ryan's that he uses in the morning to work out. I stocked up on a few snacks for Kai. Well, not snacks, but training treats for Kai. So I picked up these protein puffs. I thought this would be a nice texture that's like unique for him. So these were $4.49 and they are little peanut butter flavored, looks like cereal. And then these little training treats are beef flavored and they're just really tiny. Um, these were $5.49. I need some tiny ones because we got a little dog camera and it spits out treats and they have to be tiny. And I think he's getting sick of the treats that we have right now. So I just wanted to mix it up and we're having a trainer actually come in a couple weeks. So I wanted to have some new treats to be able to use with him too. And the thing that I actually needed from TJ Maxx was socks. So I did pick up, this is just Nine West socks. I needed these like really short ones. Um, I like to wear these with any type of tennis shoe. I really don't care that they show. So yeah, pick these up and these were $6.99. And then I got a few clothing items. They actually had some really cute stuff. So first I got this swimsuit. Now it is, it's kind of hard to hold up, but it's one shoulder and then it has a little cutout down here. Oops, has a little cutout. So I'll hold it up like this so you can kind of tell. Yeah, and it's actually full coverage. I tried it on last night. It's full coverage bottoms, which you never find. I didn't even think to look at it to see if it was full coverage, but I just love this pattern. It's like this little like flowery thing. It reminds me of uh, SpongeBob, honestly. This is from the brand Beach Riot. Maybe this is from Paxson. I feel like this would be at Paxson, but this was $30 regularly, 90. So I'm pretty happy to find this. It's really cute. And I definitely plan on using our pool at our apartment now. So once it gets hot, I will use this. And then the last thing I picked up at Marshall's was this really pretty dress. I've been looking for some more casual dresses. Like I could literally wear this with tennis shoes, but I like the puffy sleeves and it's white with green flowers. It's just cute. Just a really simple dress and it was not expensive. It was 20, yeah, 19.99. So pretty good for that one too. Okay, now moving on to Ulta. I got some things that I actually had run out of. So I'm almost out of my e.l.f. Um, Pore Putty Primer. So I picked up the e.l.f. Power Grip Plus Nice and I might have heard really good things about this one. So I'm excited to try it. And it wasn't expensive, so. Also from e.l.f., I actually just did like a declutter of my makeup collection and got rid of some old makeup that I didn't need anymore. So I needed a new like coral blush. So I picked up this putty blush in the shade Turks and Caicos. I'm really excited. I've heard good things about their putty line as well. And then a new makeup brush shampoo from Eco Tools. I just needed to get a new one of these. I don't wash my brushes enough. So I feel like if I have a actual dedicated brush shampoo, I'll do it more. <laughs> and then I'm also almost out of my setting spray. So I picked up a Morphe 
setting spray. I've never tried this one actually. This was $17, but I've, I mean, this has been around for a while and I've heard really great things about it. So I wanted to give it a try instead of just sticking with my Milani prep and set. I just wanted to try something new. And the last thing I got is a repurchase. This is the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss. Literally just clear, but this stuff is so pretty. And I got rid of my old one because it was definitely probably more than four years old. So got a new one so I can have a new clear lip gloss and yeah. So that's my little haul. I'm not really gonna do much for the rest of the day. Probably gonna edit this video and edit Wednesday's video and just chill. Ryan is out of town for a work trip pretty much all of next week. He gets back Thursday night. So gonna be by myself for the week. So we'll see what I get up to. I have planned a um, dog sitter for Kai for one night just to kind of give me something to do outside of taking care of him so I can actually get out of the house. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!